Hello all, this video is on GSM based relay control. Just by making a call from registered mobile number, the relay is controlled. Here we are using GSM SIM 800L, the most economical uh, GSM board available in the market. We will be using a valid SIM, this 800L uh, module. The power source used is 3.7 volt lithium ion battery. 3.7 volt 2600 milliamps lithium ion battery and for charging this battery we'll be using this TP4056 charge control module this is best for charging 3.7 volt batteries it has got uh, over voltage low voltage and reverse po polarity protections we can connect this to battery that is the B plus and B minus pins can be connected to battery and out plus and minus can be connected to the load and for charging the battery we can use our normal cell phone charger the red LED indicates the battery is being charged let us connect uh, this uh, uh, Berg wires to the breadboard the top rail to positive the bottom rail to negative we can also use a, an electrolytic capacitor for stability of power source and we'll be using a level shifter at uh, RX pin of GSM module first let us connect the VCC to 3.7 volt and ground to ground ground and uh, notice the LED blinking the LED will blink once per second it means it is searching for network and once it become gets the network it becomes slower that is once per three second means network is ready if it blinks every second then it is searching for network and if it is uh, blinking slowly then the network is received if you do not get a uh, network you can use an external antenna like this now let us connect the TX and RX pins the TX of GSM is connected to RX of Arduino here we are using in the code software serial so we will be using a 7 pin that is D7S uh, rx so rx goes to tx of uh, uh, gsm and rx of uh, gsm cannot be connected directly to tx of Arduino. as the level varies we have to use a level shifter a series so 1k resistor in series and a 2k2 in parallel is the best uh, uh, level shifter so through this level shifter the tx of Arduino is connected to rx of uh, gsm and do not forget to make the ground pin common ground of Arduino is connected to ground of uh, uh, GSM now let us see the relay board the relay board used here is a 5 volt relay board with optocoupler that is uh, low enabled rel relay when low is applied to input pin the relay will be operated to this uh, relay contact we will be connecting the load and uh, controlling from the GSM let us give the supply to relay board 5 volt we can use uh, 5 volt from Arduino itself no separate power source is required 5 volt is connected to VCC ground to ground and for uh, signal we will be using D4 pin of Arduino D4 is connected to IN1 that is the first relay is going to be controlled IN1 is connected to D4 now connect the USB to P PC and then note on the COM port allotted to Arduino now let us see the code to start with we include the software serial.h header file and then we assign the relay pin to 4 and uh, we use a relay status uh, bool variable that is whether true or false and a string variable to store the phone number notice the usage of the country code as uh, I am in India I am using plus my 91 and uh, software serial we just uh, uh, start an object with RX pin 7 and uh, TX pin 8 and we declare string variables to store the uh, phone number and uh, other data inside setup we use the reserve function of the string to store the uh, string data that is the number of bytes in memory to store uh, the string variable we have to define first and then we make the relay pin as output 
and we initially make it as high as the relay board we are using is slow enable initially we have to make it as uh, high and then we dot uh, start the serial uh, monitor with 9600 baud as well as the gsm serial and then we send the at command using gsm serial dot write command as uh, by default sim 800 l l is in auto board it is uh, must to start uh, with the at command and then the at plus ipr to set the baud rate as uh, 9600 the next command is at plus cmgf to enable messaging text message and then at plus cnma these two uh, commands are used for uh, message control that is for the next video and the uh, cnma command the second parameter means that the incoming messages are shown directly and uh, no storage and then we print the uh, serial data what we are getting that is using the read string we just print the whatever we read it on gsm serial finally we enable the caller id using at plus clip equal to one and inside void loop uh, we just verify whether uh, serial data is available at the software serial and then we assign it to the string variable response data is the string variable here we read until we use the function read string until until the new line we read the string and we assign it to response data now the response data is having the uh, data available in the serial software serial and then we use the serial dot print line to print the data on the serial monitor and then we call the parse function that is a user divide function let us see the parse function now inside parse we just uh, check for the uh, uh, string that is uh, inside the response data string we just verify whether the there is clip that is whether it is ringing or not suppose you make a call to that number you will get a clip here uh, and then the caller id number so we use the index of function to verify whether you are getting clip and if you find uh, that is uh, if index of clip is there it will give an index value now we have to parse out the sender number that is the caller's uh, caller id and then we assign it to sender number here we use the substring function of the string to parse out the sender's uh, uh, phone number this substring function uh, takes two parameters the first parameter from and the second parameter to that is uh, from this point to uh, this point it will parse out the data so for from uh, parameter we use the uh, response data dot index of so we just uh, search for the index of uh, up to clip and then the double quote so it will give the index number of that uh, double quote and to the second parameter we use the response data dot index of and then the clip plus 21 characters so the complete uh, uh, caller id's phone number will be parsed out now we will use the serial dot print line to the uh, print the caller number and then now we have to verify whether the sender number is same as the registered number already we have given a, uh, to the phone string variable a registered number now we just uh, compare that phone number with the sender's number so if send a number as same as that of the registered number then we uh, print the message send a number is in whitelist and then we change the status of the relay so using this relay status equal to uh, uh, not relay status so if initially relay status is high it will become low if it is low it will become high and then we use the digital write function to uh, write the relay status to the relay pin accordingly so that the relay will be operated and then we use the uh, ATH command to disconnect the call and then send back the SMS. 
here we use the AT plus CMGS and then the phone number that is the whitelist phone number previously you should have enabled uh, text mode using AT plus CMGF equal to 1 now after a delay this uh, delay are all very important so do not omit this relay uh, delays after that we send the message with the relay status to the uh, caller ID number and finally we use 0x1a to send the message that is control Z to send the message only if you send control Z the message will be sent and if the caller ID is not matching the registered whitelist number this uh, 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 we are not comparing uh, that uh, will go directly to ATH and the call will be disconnected automatically when the whitelist number is not there the call will be disconnected automatically now open the serial monitor and verify the functioning first the AT commands you can see and after that so it will verify the incoming call it will first uh, print out ring and then the clip and then the caller ID now the caller number is uh, passed out and then verified and if it is whitelist then the relay will be on and you get a message back from stating uh, including the status of the relay again if you call the relay will be off thank you for watching